This is veteran owned. Hello everyone, today we're going to take apart this 9422 and see how it works on the inside while we're cleaning it with this new product sent out to us by Trigger Fanatics. It's a one-step solution, cleans, prevents rust, protects, and lubricates. It's a veteran-owned company and its product is made in the USA. What more could you ask for, right? Alright, let's get into this video and take a look at the inside of this 9422 see how it works thank you for watching okay we're going to clean this 22 and this is a 94 a winchester 94 22 and how we're going to clean it is we're going to flip it over here and take this screw out take this right here out I'm just going to stick it in my pocket so I don't lose it. Just going to slide it apart. And look in there, that's a little bit dirty. You know how these things are. You shoot thousands and thousands of rounds through them before you know it. They're just so fun to shoot. You can see the carbon build up on this thing. Just gonna see about cleaning this. We're using this Trigger Fanatic cleaner. Go over here and spray it down real good. We'll set it right there. Spray down this part real good. We'll go ahead and spray this internal part down real good. Got a lot of powder residue and stuff on it. Let it set here for a second. And then spray down the barrel end. You can see a lot of carbon build up on the outside of that barrel. We are also gonna clean the barrel. As always, clean it from the breech in toward the muzzle in. It's kind of slick. That's a very good lubricant because it makes this really slick. Okay, get one of, one of these paper towels off of here. It brought out quite a bit of slop. And we're going to let that sit for a little bit. And we're going to finish cleaning that. So. Okay. Let's take this brush. You really get in there and brush this out good. Just really want to clean it good, just get it real clean. You can see it's bringing off a lot of that carbon buildup. And it's supposed to clean, lubricate, and protect the metal all with one product. And it's cleaned it up pretty good, just one, one go around.
Now obviously, I usually take a Q-tip and get in these parts and clean it really super good. To keep from being too boring, I'm not going to go through all that on this video. But when you clean these, just make sure you get every little nook and cranny and clean them real thorough. We're mainly wanting to see how good this stuff takes this build up off the gun and if it's a good lubricant. Looks like it's taking it off really good. These are heavy pieces of metal. This is not a cheap made gun. These are solid pieces of metal and they're machined and they're well built. How much nicer and cleaner that is. Without much work, this has really gotten that debris off there fairly easy. Get in here and clean the inside of this receiver out. Not a whole lot of places for debris to go in here other than up around the barrel. Oh yeah, cleaned it out really nice. Okay. All right, this thing's looking pretty clean. We're gonna reassemble it. Gotta stick this pin back in this right here bolt. That pin goes Just like that. Alright, when you reassemble it, there's a notch right here. There's a notch right here that this pin has to go in. So, but, you see this part sticking down? That's where it locks. So you can't slide it all the way in there until you get it inside the gun. Just like that. See how that locked down? Okay. See the way this locks down. And when you get that in there, you're going to want to put this back together. Just 
just like that. Now we gotta put that screw back in there and we'll be back together. Now, let's see how slick it is. Oh yeah, that really, that really slickened it up a lot. Wipe any excess lubrication off of it. Don't want dirt to stick to it. Oh yeah, that's really, really slick. Go ahead and wipe down the barrel. Now we went ahead and uh, run that brush through there a couple more times and that barrel cleaned out good.